What is going on everybody and welcome to episode number 2 of our Road to FIFA 16 with Team of the Season Kevin De Bruyne and as you can see we start off the episode by redeeming our lone Pele of course everybody everybody got their hands on him and uh, after that we just went out and started to pick up a couple of bronze Bundesliga players to fill in the squad get a little bit extra chemistry all that kind of good stuff and while that's happening I just thought I'd ask you a few questions now the first episode went down quite well with everyone it seemed um, what I want to know is this episode is going to be about 8 or 9 minutes long We've got four games and all you're going to see in them pretty much are the goals from the games Me messing with the squad and bringing in players and opening in the packs that kind of stuff All I'm asking is would you like to see less games with more highlights in the games Or would you like it as it's going to be in today's episode Because this is like the first proper episode if you like Because we had the introduction one last time This is the first proper one let me know what you think of the format of this one. If you like it, I'll stick with it. If you don't, then I will change it up a little bit to what you're liking. Because, um, as I said last time, I've never done a Road to Glory before. So it's all a bit new to me. But uh, as you can see in the background now, I'll start talking about what's going on a bit more. We've opened the packs. Didn't get anything spectacular. No Bundesliga players, unfortunately. Uh, we bought in a couple of players that we're going to be chucking into the team now. As you can see, it's all sped up. But I'm basically just swapping players around to get the best fitness. Anyone that said contracts, I don't think there is just yet, but it's basically a fitness thing at the moment. Just trying to get the best possible chemistry with the fittest team possible, and then we'll go into the game. But before we do, we will go in ahead and bring it and bring in another couple of players. I looked at the team, I was quite happy with the system and everything that we were playing, but I just thought we needed a couple more Bundesliga players in there to get the chemistry. I had the coins because, of course, we got promoted as champions in Division 10, so I brought in a goalkeeper because that's something we were definitely lacking. Firstly, he wasn't Bundesliga, and secondly, he was just all around crap. And we went out and bought in a centre-back as well from the Bundesliga, who looks pretty decent actually. He's a non-rare silver, but he's got decent pace and he's a hell of a lot better than what we had before. You can see he's been chucked into the team now. We mess around a little bit more with the, uh, the players because of the fitness issues again. And then we'll be heading into our first match of the episode. And you can all guess what we're going to be coming across in the very first game. And something that we're going to have to get very much used to in the next few games. As you can see, his team about to flash up now. Pele. That is right. Everyone's got him, as I mentioned at the start, and everyone seems to be using him. I think we'll, we come across him twice in today's episode, but this is the first game. And um, I hadn't actually played FIFA for a few days but when uh, this was played, and it was the first game back. I was pretty like, you know, first game back's always a bit dodgy, and we'd take an early goal against there. I mean, I was so annoyed, because I was like, you know, just come back on. Please don't screw this up. But thankfully, we did manage to get the equaliser. We absolutely dominated him, actually, after we got that early goal. I was a bit concerned, but... We were just by far the better team. I was the better player. We got that equaliser and then after that the floodgates pretty much open. De Bruyne going through to get his first goal of the episode after he assisted the other one. And um, like I say, we just went on. Another great through ball here. Mycon as well is about to put in one hell of a finish. Look at this. Gets pushed pretty wide. Knocks it across the keeper right in the far corner. He didn't stand a chance. That was 3-1. And then we go here to make it 4-1 with an absolutely delightful little chip with Kevin De Bruyne with his second goal of that game. And like I say, we absolutely dominated. He did unfortunately get one goal back, but that was just to be a bit of a consolation, if anything. Pele playing it through to his striker there. I don't know who it was, and he slotted it in. Whenever anyone's got Pele, it's always a problem. But yeah, by the way, 90th minute, 4-2 up, and then he quits. Why would he quit in the 90th minute? Just take the loss, man. Stop being such a dick about it. But anyway, he quit. There were the stats from all the players. Like I say, De Bruyne got a couple of goals, and he had a really solid game on the whole. You can see we won 4-2. Bringing in 492 coins, and I decided to go straight up there and bring in another player, Nedelev, another Bundesliga player. Bursa was the only player that we had on that right-hand side at the time, so I thought, you know what, get in another one, a bit more depth, chuck him in straight away, and try to get the squad. Like I said, firstly, we want it to be Bundesliga, so we can get 100 chemistry, and secondly, at this stage in the game, we just want as much depth as you can, because the bronze players, it doesn't matter too much, you can just chop and change them, so as long as you've got plenty of them, you're going to be in fine shape. The other question I wanted to ask you all as I'm rotating the team around, putting a couple of contracts on when do you think I should use Pele I didn't want to use him too early on because you know I think it'd be a bit of a waste to not have him with good chemistry and everything but I don't know whether to just chuck him in there right off the bat as we come across our second team four bronze apart from two QPR players Eduardo Vargas and Terraps two very strong players on the game actually and um, this guy was a very good skiller but he was pretty damn awful at the back as you can see the first goal coming in the 27th minute De Bruyne with some fantastic skills on a nice little weeby run. Plays it into that new signing, uh, Gordino, I think his name is. That's his second goal in two games, the bronze midfielder. So that was pretty pleasing. But yeah, Pele, I don't know whether to chuck him in now or wait till I can get full chemistry with him as we go 2-0 up there. Nice finish from the Korean left winger. Let me know what you think on Pele in the comments down below. I think I should save him personally. But like, 
Uh, it's, it's the kind of thing, should I just leave him on the bench? De Bruyne getting his second lob goal of the game there, which is pretty crazy. Not even his best goal of the episode either, because he's got an absolute banger coming up soon. And that's another rage quit as well by the opposition at 3-0. But uh, yeah, I'll, I think I'm going to chuck him on the bench, Pele. Sorry if I keep on floating in and out of conversation here while trying to commentate. Yeah, Pele, going to stick him on the bench. And if we need to call upon him in a game, potentially like a big game, I kind of wish just throw him on then. But like I said, don't particularly want to waste him. And when people quit as well... It is so annoying. 3 0 up there. You'd think we're going to get more goals. And we only get 316 coins because of the rage quit, unfortunately. But we then go out, use those coins to get arguably our biggest signing of the series so far, Didier Yacona. If you followed the channel a long time, you'll remember when I did him in the OP Alpha. They absolutely love him on this game. Really, really strong strike. He got him for 450 coins. Another strong Bundesliga player. But he is thrown in at the deep end because we come across this godly looking team. Team of the season, Wilson. Team of the season, Aphobe. He's got team of the season, that French CDM that I pulled. Just informs everywhere. I think that's uh, Gonalon's in there, I think. And he had inform Rafael in goal, but that didn't stop us taking the lead. That combination that I want to see more often now. De Bruyne through to Didier Yacon and slots in nicely. And we then go 2-0 up here. Yes, we do, with an absolutely ridiculous goal. Look at this. Perhaps the worst goal you'll ever see on FIFA. Somehow just bundles off the post and down the line. And that was a shot across goal, by the way. Hits Yacon, and as you can see on the line, and it just touches it in. Looks like one of the most ridiculous goals I've ever seen. But this game was tight. This guy was a good player. And he did actually pull one back straight away with Team of the Season of Fobe. Put it in the top bin. That made it 2-1. And that was how the game finished. We actually managed to hold on out. In what was it? Like I said, it was a close game. He wasn't a bad player at all. And being as the team he had, that was an absolutely exceptional win. Really, you'll pardon me there. Like I say, the team of the season is everywhere compared to our low chemistry Bundesliga slash bronze team that we've got going on. And that was a really big win in my eyes. I mean, I thought that first loss was going to come when I saw that lineup, but we pulled through, got our third win of the episode. I think that was third or is that second? I don't know. I'm losing count here as we go along. But then, again, we're just jigging with the team. There wasn't too much that, need, that uh, needed to be done at this point. Just a couple of contracts and fitness applied. That guy at right centre defensive mid. He is vital. I think without him, we go down to 60 chemistry, yet with him, we go all the way up to 80. So I was really keen to keep him in there. So I put into the contract and we come across yet another Pele. And this is the final game of the episode, actually. This is game number four. And this guy was just absolutely crap. You can see, it says we're 1-0 up here. I must have skipped out a goal by... Uh, clearly, the footage is fucked up in the wrong order here. So I apologise for that. You can see we go 1-0 up here through Didier Conan. Uh, really nice finish. Yeah, that penalty seems to be in there twice, because here it is again. I don't know what that's all about. Sorry about that, lads. But you can um, uh, score in the first goal. We get the penalty here with De Bruyne to make it 2-0. He goes to take it top left, and the keeper saves it. At this point in the game, I was actually really concerned. I was like, oh my god, please don't throw this away now. But like I say, the player wasn't very good. You can bullies his way past the defender there, sweats it across to De Bruyne. That makes it 2-0. And this, like I say, was one of the more comfortable games we've had. And this is the goal of the episode absolute banger of a free kick from Kevin De Bruyne now look at that absolutely smashes it past the goalkeeper absolutely stunning for a kick you can see it here from another angle over the wall dipping top left hand corner just absolutely phenomenal the power behind that really really pleased with that nice to see him get a free kick goal because we get to actually score a proper like open play long range so that was 3-0 we then made it 4-0 here off the post and then tapped in by Yaconan who's had a good start for us which is pleasing to see because like I say he was a pretty Big signing for us, I suppose you could say, really being the first goal player we brought in. But we then get De Bruyne on it again. He seals his hat-trick. That makes it 5-0. And like I say, this guy just got absolutely demolished. I think you'll see the stats. He had two shots to our 20-odd, if I remember correctly. We absolutely blew him away. Like I say, De Bruyne hat-trick was really pleasing to see. And uh, Didier Yacona seems to have hit the ground running as well. We pull ourselves a nice few hundred coins there, 500 coins. Like I say, let me know what you, want me what I th what you think I should do, sorry, with Pele. And uh, let me know... What, what else was it I was asking at the start of the episode? I can't even remember, man. I'm so, trying so hard to concentrate with the commentary that I'm just losing the freaking plot completely. Ah, uh, the other thing I was going to ask. Mark on the left-hand side, considering selling him to get in s fine. Thoughts on that, please? Thoughts on Pele? I hope you enjoyed the episode. I would love your feedback. Ah, video length. That was the other thing. Let me know what you would like to see video length-wise. Like I say, if you enjoyed it, throw a like on it. Subscribe if you're new. Sorry about the higgledy pigglediness at the end now. I just couldn't remember, remember what was going on. But nevertheless, I will speak to you all in tomorrow's video now. Nidge out.